Mike, here's where we make our predictions with the Penn State season. They play 12 games. We'll get to records in a second with that. But uh, overall, uh, assess this team, what you, what you think so far. How are they going to be? I, I think that there's no question that the, that the NCAA sanctions and the defections and so forth and the problems they've had recruiting because of all of this stuff has depleted their overall talent base. And I think one of the things you're going to see is, for example, on special teams. There's no way they're going to have the athletes on special teams that they had. There, there's, there, there, you're going to have, if you're talking about, for example, your number one tailback who's going to get 25 carries a game, also being your number one kickoff returner and your number one punt returner, you, you know what I mean? That, yeah. that's, so, so now you're depending on guys that you wouldn't normally have been de- depending on. I think there's a lot of that. And I think their schedule, week in, week out, is a little better than it normally is. As we talked in the previous segment, Ohio U is a lot different than yeah. the normal Youngstown State or whoever you, Indiana State last year. Uh, I, I think the overall quality of their schedule, it's going to be tough. It's, it's, it, they're, they're asking a lot. And, and I, you know, we are on uncharted territory here. There's lots of things you don't know at the beginning of every football mm-hmm. season. As I wrote in the paper last week, we don't even know what we don't know in this case. I mean, we are really out there on the, in, in, in this uh, situation. I'm going to ask you this in a second. What, is it, what, what has to happen for a successful year? I'll give you a couple of examples of this. Matt McGloin's a starting quarterback, probably deserves to be either of the other guys. I think it's going to come down to decision-making. If he makes smart decisions, yeah. cuts down the turnovers, doesn't force things, that will help for a good year. Yeah, I think there's a possibility that they will have, because of Bill O'Brien, a schematic advantage on offense. I don't think they're going to have a physical advantage over the better teams in the Big Ten on offense. Right. They might have a schematic advantage, but that's going to depend on, you're right, on Matt McGloin understanding the offense and making good decisions. So that is a very big key. Defensively, they should be pretty good. I, I, you know, a lot of people back and, and uh, some, some veteran guys and some quality guys, especially front seven, you know, Every football team, every coach that we do a season preview on says we got to stay healthy. It is exponentially more true of Penn State than it is of the average football team. I think the offensive line will show an improvement just because they've got some really good coaches in there, and I think they've been working with the strength coach now, a different system. Yeah. But you're going to see a difference there as well. Overall prediction. What's this, what do you think? What's what's a good year for these guys? Well, I, I I could it could go a lot of different ways. I predicted six and six, three and five in the Big Ten, which which doesn't sound very good. It's not very good for Penn State, but but uh, I, I I just think that that's sort of a there's a lot of ways this could go, and that's sort of a, a, a cautiously uh, uh, maybe light prediction. But six and I'm going to go six and six, three and five. They lost a few guys with his with the latest sanctions. Uh, Silas Red, Justin Brown being two that really jump out. I still think because of O'Brien and the new staff and what they can do offensively to freshen things up, I still think 8-4 and four overall. I'm not going to break it down in Big Ten whatever. I think four losses could happen. 8-4 and four will be a good year. And with everything that's happening, I think it's going to be crazy up at State College for week one. Yep. I think the whole, the whole university is going to rally around this team. And I think it's a successful year, 8-4 and four could, could happen. I think, I think anybody who thinks 8-4 and four isn't real good, all things considered, is, is nuts. But that doesn't, that's not, I don't think it's unreasonable at all. Eight and four could happen, and that would be that would be a good year for Penn State. 